All right, Taurus, it's June, and I hope you guys have a great month. Let's see what your reading has for you. All right. Um, wow. Celebration. So you guys are thinking, this is a card in the position of what you might be thinking about this month of June. You might be thinking about from somebody, some, thinking about uh, somebody you haven't seen in a very long time. Uh, you might be thinking about talking to somebody, contacting somebody, um, or just thinking about somebody from your past, somebody that you haven't seen again in a really long time. This could be uh, friends, um, old friends, old people that, you know, old relationships, old friends. Um, but these are people you really like and enjoy to enjoy and enjoy, and you just haven't seen them for a long time. So you might be thinking about them. They, you guys might be contacted by, um, somebody, you might be, um, planning, um, an event, planning on meeting people that you haven't seen in a long time. So, um, that's fantastic. You guys, what else do we have? The next card we have is existence. This is a beautiful card. It's, um, you guys might be doing things differently this month in June. Um, doing things in a way that are different. Um, you might be deciding on trying a new career, trying a new way of doing things. Um, but basically doing things in a way where, where do you, where do you feel you fit in and where you feel that you, um, need to be at this time in your life. Um, you might be really wondering and thinking about what best suits you, where you would best be, um, meant to go places, people, things, um, anything, but it's, it's kind of really meaningful and, um, it's about going and trying things in a different way, a more meaningful way for you. And the next card we have is participation. This is in the position of uh, how you're feeling. You're, you might be feeling, um, a need to participate with others. You might be fe feeling that you really desire and want and um, want to work with others to build something, maybe start a business with friends, um, start a company. Um, but you may need other people to start the company with. You may be thinking about uh, maybe these other people from your past starting a business with your friends. Um, building a company, um, something to do with a creative project with others. Um, and this could be your soul, soul purpose. It could be your life's purpose. It could be your, your path in life, a, a very significant path way, uh, of, of, a way of doing things with others. And the next card is intensity. Wow. So you're going to be really focused on this project. Um, you might be planning, a, a, you know, again, like a, a company, starting a company, um, working together as in a group. And you're really focused. You're going to be, you're going to have so much passion and focus. And I'm talking like, like a uh, laser, you guys, Taurus, laser, sharp, focus, passion, driven, nothing stops you, um, fierce, um, fantastic, uh, just great, beautiful intensity. Uh, it's a very good intensity and um, you guys are going to be doing this. Um, it looks like you're going to be the leader of a group maybe. You could be leading a group, leading this group. Um, you guys all could be participating Equally, it's, it's usually an equal project um, you're putting in together to create something all together that's magical and beautiful. And I have a feeling you're, you might be uh, thinking about contacting these people from your past uh, to join this company or group or participation. Um, and you guys have a lot of focus and intensity. And it really does have to do with uh, your life purpose. Um, a new creative beginning or a new place, a, a new, a new existence. Uh, where do you exist in this life? Um, you know, what's your life's purpose? How do you, how do you interact with others? What do you, what do you participate? How do you, how do you, uh, exist? 
It's beautiful. You guys, this is great. So let's get into your main reading here. I'm excited to see what we have. So the first card we have, the main energy card we have is the lovers. This is pure, this is passion, you guys. Love, passion, desire, um, making a choice even, possibly, making a decision. Um, but we're, we're, this is about passion and love and desire. And um, this is a beautiful card. So the month of June, you guys have love. This could be self-love, love you have within yourself true passion and love um, in a relationship with yourself or making a decision. Um, this is beautiful. The next card we have is the Ten of Swords. This is in the position of what is crossing you or what is the challenge for you this month of June. Um, it's crossing the lovers. So you guys have the lovers for sure. You have love this month in June and you have the love, you have love within yourself you're filled with passion and love and um, you may even share that with a relationship this month. Um, but you do have the Ten of Swords and it is crossing you. So it's time for you, Taurus, to remove yourself, to over, to rise from any kind of deceptions, hurts, uh, pain, um, defeat that you've had in your past. It's it's time to let it go. It's time to, it, it, you're at a point where you're able to let it go. Any kind of hurts this month, you're, you're, anything that you've had in your past, all the buildup of deceptions, bad situations, lies, um, defeat, um, anything that you've done to yourself and people have done to you in your life. You're done. You're over. You're done being hurt. You're done letting it bother you. You're done letting it, um, suck the life out of you. You're done, um, having anything affect you. You've taken everything you can, all the lessons, all the pain, all the, you know, hurts and you've learned from it. And now you are letting it go. You're going to let it go this month. You guys, you are, this is it in June. Anything that's held you back, anything that sucked the energy out of you where you were not able to move forward in your life. It's you're over with it. You're like, I'm done. I've, I'm done with that. And that's your, your challenge this month is if some of you do still have uh, some residual, uh, defeat or a loss of energy or a feeling of, you know, something holding any kind of, you know, internal feelings holding you back. It's time just to, to pray about it. It's time to meditate. It's time to forgive and forget. It's time to just let go, just let it go and be gone. Because the minute you do that, well, you're going to have this regardless. You're, you're going to have it this, but the sooner you, if you, if anybody who is holding on to this, you know, by the end of, by the end of June, it's going to be gone, you guys. And you are going to, you, you're going to, once this is gone, any ounce of this, you're going to have pure passion, love again in your life. Um, if you, you know, if you didn't feel you had been able to fully love yourself and, and be able, be able to love others. You're going to, you're going to do it this month and you're going to do it with so much. And you're also doing something. This could have to do, this love could have to do with a career, a new career, a brand new business. And it has to do with people you love. It could be having to do with these friends, old, uh, past friends you haven't seen in a long time. You guys are moving towards a new you, a, a, a different, a different way of living your life living your life purpose now, living, doing things in, in, in a way that you are going to be able to help others, but be fulfilled in yourself with passion and love. Oh my God. I'm so excited. This energy I'm feeling is beautiful. So let's see what else we have in your recent past. You have the six of wands in reverse. So in the recent, in the recent past, so it could have been in April, um, it looks like you were not really successful in something or you felt you weren't anyway. Um, you know, maybe you were not promoted in a job or maybe you were not acknowledged in, this, in, in your work or um, the work that you did in your life. Maybe you never were really acknowledged for that. Um, but that's in your past, you guys. And maybe it created a little bit of hurt, you know, but I, I got to tell you, all this is past you. I mean, 
anything that you were not recognized uh, in the past or didn't have victory in that's caused you any kind of defeat or, you know, sadness, you're it's done. You guys are on a huge path. I cannot even say it more. Um, the next card we have is the Fool. Wow. This is exactly Taurus. How, what it is you're striving for, what it is you really want. And you want a new beginning. You want a new start in life. You want passion. You want, um, adventure. You don't want to be tied back and un unacknowledged and, you know, unsuccessful and all the hard work that you put in things. You don't want to, you just want to be free, independent and, um, able to achieve wonderment and um you guys are i see that you are i see you're gonna have extreme passion the minute you figure this out this existence what is right for you because you're really planning it here with your friends i mean this says it all right here this is your reading right here just right here as you're reading um it's truly amazing all right, I'm getting so excited for you guys. I I, I, I I I don't know what to say. Okay, so the next card we have is the Justice. This is coming in. This is the current energy when you're watching this video. This is what is coming in for you right away in June. Um, you're going to receive justice. This could be a legal situation. It could be a legal contract. It could be a court case that went in your favor. It could be um, a contract that you're going to be signing that's going to be in your benefit. You may be signing contracts to start a new business, to start a new project, to um, collaborate with others, to start a business with your friends, somebody you haven't seen in a long time. Um, you guys could be uh, getting married, uh, literally. Um, this really is not a married marriage card, but I just, I see, whatever it is, you guys, it's amazing. Um, something's turning in your favor. This month of June, it's gone in your favor. It's going in your favor, whether it be a contract for work, contract to start a business, contract to buy something, um, or a legal um, case. It's going in your favor this month. The next card we have is the Two of Swords. Oh my gosh, this is here for you as well. This card is here to tell you, Taurus, that... Um, you are able this month of June, if you haven't, if you haven't done this yet, you are going to be able to make a decision about something you had, you were unable to make a decision before. I'm assuming it's because of this. You were really defeated about something in your past. Okay. This month, you're over it. You put all this behind because all this positivity is coming to you. It's like the universe, you guys, is like, but bam, there, it's like almost like everything is going your way. All this stuff is amazing. Your past. This was your past. This was your past. There was no acknowledgement, you know, but that's in your past. Anyway, you're able to make a decision. Uh, you have clarity now about a decision that you are able to make. So you're going to be making a good decision this month. And I'm really excited because uh, whatever you do, whatever decision this is, it is really good super good. It's like your dream is coming true. You are going to become the fool. You are going to be starting something new. You are going to be making that decision. You are going to have stuff in your favor. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the next card we have is the ace of pentacles, you guys. So you see your situation as your environment around, I mean, this situation here in as the ace of pentacles in reverse. That means that, um, you feel like things you might, you feel like, okay, you feel like you may not want to accept an opportunity or you feel like somebody is not going to accept something or there's a delay in a beautiful brand new opportunity. There's a brand new beginning for you guys. It has to do with money. It has to do with money. It has to do with your life purpose. This little bit of an energy is a blockage. Okay. So some, the ones of you, the ones of you that are still feeling a little bit of deceit, I'm sorry, um, defeat from your past, from all these horrible things that have happened to you in your past that you've been holding on to, you haven't been able to forgive, forget, or to let go of, um, you know, these things build up and we suppress ourselves. It builds up and builds up and builds up. And, um, we really can get, you know, down. So if the one you may be feeling a little bit blocked, okay. A little bit blocked part of this month of June, 
Don't fret. Don't worry, you guys. It is going to be lifted. Um, you are not going to be um, harmed anymore. You're not going to ever feel like this anymore. You're done with any kind of lessons. You've learned your things. All these positive things are coming in. So the next card we have is the Emperor in Reverse. There could be a person in your situation, somebody you've been dealing with, that is very controlling, manipulati manipulative. Uh, maybe this is the person from your past that did not appreciate you, that did not acknowledge you. It could be a boss. It could be your 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 boss, your your employer. Um, he could be really negative with you. Maybe he's very unhappy with you. Maybe he's overly controlling, micromanaging you. Um, um, and maybe like not giving you the promotion, not giving you the acknowledgement and deservement, deserving that you, that you deserve. Anyway, this person's not, he's in your environment. He is, um, um, he is. He's somewhere, somebody who's in your environment basically um, is acting this way around you, okay? And I have a feeling you guys are getting away from this emperor. You are, um, it could be the one that's blocking you maybe a little bit from this new beginning because you guys have something new. It's coming. Do not let this person, do not let the past that this person did to you block you, stop you. Do not do that. It is not worth it. And let me just tell you, it was for whatever reason it happened to you in your life. You've got this negative person here, but it's, it's, it's time for you guys to no longer allow somebody to control your feelings and your happiness or steal and rob your, don't let this happen to you. Do not allow this, this past, past, um, issues to affect you now because now is the time for you guys to shine. I'm going to turn this card and I'm just going to turn it over. I'm turning it over. I've never done this before. I'm turning it over because it does not exist. You're going to be making a decision. You're going to have some clarity this month. So you're going to be moving forward. Oh, the next card we have is the six of cups and this is in your hopes and fears section. And it's a, it's a card of, of memories from your past, a person or, you know, maybe people from your past. And we do have this beautiful celebration card. It looks like, you know, you might be thinking about your friends, um, old, old friends you haven't seen in a long time. Friends you really loved and that loved you and that you guys really got together, you know, got along and had fun together. You haven't seen them in years. And it looks like you're thinking about them and they're coming, you guys, your friends are coming. There's support. Okay. You're going to start a business with these people. Some of you Tauruses are starting a business and you're going to do it with people that you love and care about. You're not going to be with this emperor in reverse, this controlling, bitter, angry, old person. Okay. Now it's the outcome. Oh, there we go. Wow. What did I say? I'm getting so excited. And this is it. Your outcome card. Taurus, I'm, I, I, I probably sound crazy uh, with this reading because the energy I feel is absolutely amazing. You have a 10 of cups as your outcome. So, uh, is there anything else more to say <laughs> other than, wow, wow, you guys are absolutely going to be fulfilled. Everything in this month of June is going your way. Everything is coming. It's like your whole, I don't know how long this has been going on. Whatever's manifesting here in June. It could have been going on for your whole life or years or months. But something's coming to a point where I really believe you guys are reaching a soul. You're reaching almost like your life path. You're, le you're reaching a really, really um, good level in your life. And you're very, very, very happy, okay? Whether this be marriage, family, or just the 10, meaning fulfilled completely within yourself, within your life. You're coming to a, a great timing. This is timing, all about timing. And the timing is here for you. I do not want any of you Tauruses be take one ounce of this beautiful joy that's coming to you. Oh, and I didn't even tell you about this card. Oh my gosh, sorry. This card I missed. It's the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles could mean that you are receiving family money. Okay? You may be receiving inheritance. If it's not inheritance for, 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 for some of you, it is. For, for the other part, people, this is 
a very large amount of money. You might be getting a job offer. Okay. You might be getting money, a large, you know, money support from your family. Even, you know, maybe the, the people from your past are family members. Okay, maybe they're going to be bring, seeing, you haven't seen your family in a long time. Maybe they're bringing you money. I don't know, but you guys are going to have money, Ten of the Cups. This could be a, a huge job offer or a huge job beginning with a company. Um, you've got, you're going to be fulfilled. You're going to be in beautiful bliss of your, you know, friends and loved ones from the past that you may be uh, seeing this month of June. They may be coming into your life this month of June. You're going to be spending time celebrating with them, um, enjoying their company, um, you know, reminiscing. So for what don't you dare for two minutes, let this, this controlling manipulative old person micromanage or bother you anymore. Okay. Cause somebody's not happy with your success. They're not happy with all the money that you're receiving. Cause now this person doesn't have control over you anymore. Unless you let them guys. Um, but it's over this this person is uh, negative. So just let them be. Let them be negative. Let them do what they want. Everything is going your way. I'm super excited for you guys. Uh, I'm going to pull a uh, beautiful card for you from this deck here. What is the message we have for Taurus? Please provide the best possible. What do we have for Taurus? Taurus. Oh, the new birth. Guarded vigilante, vigilant, vig, vigilante. Oh, she's got like this little green butterfly on her shoulder. Okay, you guys, I'm going to read this to you, okay? Bear with me. Stay tuned. I'm going to read this card a little bit. It's got a beautiful message. Message. If you want to hear it, stay, stay with me. You guys, your reading reading could not be any better. I please, please, please comment. I would love to hear all the comments about this beautiful month for you of June. So happy for you guys. Okay, this is what the card is. In every creative process, in every birth, in every opening of a new cycle of life, there is a time of vulnerability. This vulnerability is natural and appropriate. It is the Foul, the fool, I'm sorry. It is the learning to become steady on its legs. Those legs will become remarkably powerful in time, but the process of growth and maturity has to take place, and that requires some wobbly first attempts. It cannot be any other way. Within you, perhaps even below the level of your conscious awareness, there is a fresh new life emerging, like a vigilant green sh a shot rising up from the earth. This new life is, a, is in need for your attention and your care. This could be a new relationship that needs tending with interest and kindness. It could be a new idea that you need to nurture into fullness because it is going to hold special purpose for your life path. See, life path, you guys. It might be something within you, a new behavior, a new way of looking at yourself, or a new way of being in the world that you need to tend to until it becomes more natural for you to embody. All right, you guys. Um, congratulations. You are in, on a new path. And again, anytime you feel insecure, um, and out of control, vulnerable, like it says, it's don't let that emperor in reverse, this controlling manipulative person and all this pain you've gone through block you from what you deserve, from what is meant for you to have. That's the only warning is, um, it's not really even a warning. It's just when you feel this way, I want you guys to remember this reading and remember what I'm telling you and remember all these, everything is going for you. Every single thing this is a huge, huge turning point in your life. And this is a pivotal month where you're going to be making a very, very important decision about your life path. 
and it's going to be new. So yes, you may be vulnerable. Yes, you may need to tend to something. And it is your life path and purpose. You are going to have extreme energy, passion, driven focus in, in order to complete and achieve your goals.